think he ran an idea by Brandy. She said, Makai wants to do something. And I was like, cool, that's my man. I, you know, set it up. You know, I, I kind of wanted to just show up and play. You know, the class is going me. He's like, so what are we going to play? Can you send me music? He's like, we're just going to buy it up, Randy. He's doing it live. That's something that you don't hear anymore. It's just a live recording. Jazz needs to come back, and it needs to come back in a big way with a lot of the newer, you know, younger cats not necessarily just rehashing what has been done in the past. I just heard these musicians who were kind of jazz, but they weren't sounding at all reverential. That kind of bringing together of the musicianship and that kind of understanding of producer culture makes it so rich and interesting. I could feel like the feedback loop going between him energetically in the, in the crowd, in the, in the room, and just the, the atmosphere around him. of like the heaviness and the groundedness of the music. It was like, I mean my perfect combination of music is sweet and tough and it was sweet and it was tough. I like these to be comfortable places to create. Every single different emotion and every different feeling the crowd was right there with them. He's giving you something that feels good. People were transfixed in that room. Well, we can create like an ambiance, a feeling in a room where everybody's connected or like feeling something special. That enters the music. It becomes part of the energy in this unique moment.